Okay, for this video, what we're going to do is another application of Venn diagrams, but this time we have three different sets. So the situation we have is a survey was taken at a local bookstore about the genre of books purchased. A total of 120 people were surveyed with the following results. 48 of them purchased mysteries, 34 purchased science fiction, 52 purchased romance, 14 purchased mystery and science fiction, 6 purchased romance and science fiction, 12 purchased romance and mystery, and 4 purchased all three. So what we want to do is we want to draw a rectangle to represent the entire um, set of people, customers that purchased books at this bookstore. So that would be 120 people need to be contained inside of here. We want to draw a circle for each of them. So I'm just going to go in the order that I have them drawn on my paper just to make it easier, but it really doesn't matter as long as you label it how you put them. So this first circle is going to represent science fiction. My second circle is going to represent romance. And I'm just putting an R for romance. And then our last circle, and let me grab a different color that's a little bit, stands out a little bit more so we can obviously see the different circles. And we're going to use an M for mystery. And then anything on the outside means that they did not um, purchase from these three categories. Okay, so where you always want to start, no matter what you have, you always want to start with the one that is for all three of them. So since four people purchased all three, this is our starting point. From there, we're going to work backwards. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to go up the list. So 12 purchased romance and mystery. So romance and mystery would be this little part of the circle right here, the overlap of these two. So we have to have a total of 12 inside of here. So right now we already have four. So if I do 12 minus four, that tells me that eight purchased romance and mystery, but not science fiction. So um, this entire overlap of the romance and mystery has to total 12, which it does. Four plus eight gives me 12. So now we would move to the next one. So we want a total of six purchased romance and science fiction. So now we want to look at the overlap of romance and science fiction, which is this area right here. And we need a total of six in there, so that means that only two purchase science fiction and romance, but not mystery. Okay, so moving along, we have 14 who purchased mystery and science fiction. So in this overlap right here of this area, we need a total of 14. So we already have four that purchased all three, so 14 minus four would give me 10. Okay, now we're going to continue to move up to the entire circle. So um, now we're talking about the entire circle. So if we talk about romance, we have a total of 52. Well, as far as we already have, we already have 2 plus 4, which is 6. And 6 plus 8 gives me 14. So to find the just romance, we would do 52 minus the 2 plus 4 plus 8 which gives us a total of 38. So always just check to make sure that it adds up. So we have 40, 44, 52. So we have a total of 52 inside of the romance circle. Okay, so moving to the next one, we now have 34 who purchased science fiction. So inside of this whole circle, we need a total of 34. So I would take 34 minus the ones that we already have recorded. So since we have 10 plus four is 14, plus two gives me 16, so we would do 34 minus 16, which gives us a total of 18 that just purchased science fiction, but not the others. And then for the last one, we have a total of 48 who purchased mysteries. So inside of this entire yellow circle, we have to have a total of 48. So we would take the 48 minus the 10 plus four plus eight. So if we add this up, this gives us 22, and 48 minus 22 gives us a total of 26. And so if I added these up, I would have 30, 38, 48. So we can see that we have a total inside of there. 
okay? Remember that we have a total of 120 people that were surveyed. So we might have people on the outside. So what we are going to do is we're gonna do 120 minus all of these numbers added together. So if we just start, we would have 20, 24, 34 for the pink one. And then because we already included the two and the four here, we would just do the 38 and the eight for this one. So if I add 38 plus eight, that gives me 46 minus 26 because that's the only thing that we haven't used yet. So um, because I put that in parentheses, I do need to keep those positive. So if I, and it doesn't matter which way you do this if you add first, okay? Um, but we end up with a total of 14 on the outside because 34 plus 46, that gives me 40, 80. Um, 80 plus 26 gives me 106, so if I take 120 minus 106, I get a total of 14 on the outside, okay? So setting up the diagram is the hardest part. This is where you would go first, and then you would go and answer the questions. So the first question that we have is how many purchased only romance? So only romance means that we're just looking for this part of the circle right here, so that would be the 38. 38 people purchased only a romance, okay? How many purchased only science fiction? So only science fiction, that means that we're just looking for this part here. So that would be the 18, okay? Those are the easy questions. When it starts getting a little more complicated um, with the way that they question, um, then you have to think about it a little bit more. So for this one, it says how many purchased mystery and romance, but not science fiction. So mystery and romance, if we look at the overlap of the mystery and the romance, we have the 12 here, but only eight of them purchased just mystery and romance without the science fiction, okay? Um, so we would say that a total of eight purchased mystery and romance, but not science fiction. Okay, moving on, how many purchased science fiction or romance? Remember that this is different. Science fiction or romance means that it's in this circle or this circle, okay? So you would have to add up all of those things, but we don't want the mystery. So basically what we're going to do is we're gonna take this 18, this two, and the 38. They are inside of the science fiction or the romance, but not in the mystery. So we would just take the 18 plus the two plus the 38. So we would take 18 plus two plus 38 because we're looking for the ones that are inside the science fiction circle or inside of the romance circle, but we're trying to exclude the part that is overlapped with the mystery. So we're excluding this part down here, okay? Um, if it had said just science fiction or romance, then we would have added up all of the numbers inside of those circles. But because we're excluding the mystery part, we would just add these together. So 20 plus 38 gives me a total of 58. And then the last question, it says, how many didn't purchase any of these three? Um, remember that the any of these three is the part that's on the outside of the circle. So that would be the 14. So with this, I know that it kind of got a little bit confusing with all of the notations I put in here. I probably should have deleted as I went, um, but hopefully this will help you to be able to answer these questions. Like I said, when you're setting this up, the first thing that you wanna do is draw your Venn diagram with your three sets. Start with purchasing of all three of them, the overlap, and then just kind of work your way up. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well. And if you get a chance, please subscribe.